In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory be to God on high, and in earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory, O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with our spirit. Almighty God, who made us thy blessed Son to be circumcised and obedient to the law for man, grant us the true circumcision of the Spirit, that our hearts and all our members, being mortified from all worldly and carnal lusts, we may in all things obey thy blessed will, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the epistle of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Remember that he being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time he went without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, he who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances. For to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile unto God in one body by the cross, and slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were far off, and to them that were nigh. For well, through, through him we both have access to one spirit unto the Father. This is the word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with you. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And it came to pass, as the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which are told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was the name which was named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. This is the Gospel of the Lord. please be seated. I would like on behalf of Father Timothy and Nina, the church wardens and the church council and myself to wish you all a very peaceful and healthy new year. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today the church celebrates the naming and circumcision of Jesus. The circumcision, well, yes, perhaps it might seem a bit awkward to talk about it in church, and what then does it have to do with anything? Well, we need to think of Jesus' circumcision like his baptism. Jesus doesn't need to be baptized. He's perfect, sinless, and steps into a sinner's baptism to take on our sin, to fulfill all righteousness for us. So too with his circumcision. He's already a child of the promise. In fact, he is the promised. The Son of God and the bearer of the covenant, blameless before God according to the law of Moses. And yet for our sakes, he is born of a woman, born under the law to redeem us all under that same law. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise him, he was named Jesus. And as we heard the name the angel had given him before he had been conceived. The Lord of all, receives circumcision on behalf of all. The mysterious, infinite, all-powerful Yahweh takes on human flesh and takes on a human name, the name of Jesus, to place his name upon God. God becomes a child to make us children of that same God. that same God that he went to the cross for. He takes a name for us and he bleeds for us. So the circumcision and naming of Jesus has everything to do with our salvation. 
the name of Jesus. No ordinary name. The name of Jesus also causes controversy, scandal, and offense. The name of Jesus causes thrones of kings to topple and to sway. The name causes the politically correct to be on edge. No other name in history has caused such, caused such a ruckus. And yet this is the only name under heaven by which we are all served, saved. This is the name that is higher than any other name. King of kings and Lord of lords, name of names, this is Yahweh in human flesh. This is Jesus. And this is the name that causes devils to flee, the name by which all our prayer is heard, the name by which God in the flesh is known, and the name by which all of us are saved. This is the name we all need, for without the name of Jesus, our only name is sinner. It is precisely for us that this child is given the name Jesus. Mary's child is named that in order to place his name upon each and every one of us at baptism and at confirmation. God becomes a child in order to make us children of God. We were justified, declared righteous, we were washed, we were sanctified, we were made holy, and we were consecrated in the name of Jesus. We are all gathered, my good friends, on this first day of a new year in the name of Jesus. From invocation to benediction, the name of Jesus is placed into our ears just try counting how many times and in many various ways the name of Jesus appears in the liturgy. You'll be surprised at how many times our Lord's name is here and to bless us. So the circumcision and naming of Jesus have everything to do with our salvation. So on this day when some make resolutions about all the things that they want to try and change and give up, take comfort in this. Your unchanging savior has resolved before any of us were born to come into this world to bleed for us and to take a name for us to suffer and die and raise for each and every one of the lovely people gathered here in our church of St. Michael. So while the resolutions of men are quickly forgotten, the Father never, about, never forgets about Jesus' blood covering our sins, and he never forgets the same saving name that he has put on each one of us. So no matter, no matter what this new year brings, we all belong to Jesus. The law is fulfilled. Our sins are forgiven. We are all his children. And so remember, that is the one resolution that is always kept that we are his children, the name of Jesus, amen.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of men, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and rejected, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, if the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church and for all according to their needs. Almighty God, who has taught us to pray for all men and has promised to hear the prayers of those who ask in faith, we beseech thee to look mercifully upon thy universal church and to inspire it with the spirit of truth unity and concord. We pray especially for the work of the church in this diocese and ask thy blessing on Taba, our bishop, and Joshua, his suffragan. Lord, in thy mercy. Amen. We pray for the needs of those who live in this place and worship in this church. And we give thanks for, to those who travel safely during the holiday period. Please bring all our traveling parishioners safely home. We pray for our whole parish for the coming year. May it continue to grow in your love and care. We pray for Father Timothy and Nina and for Father Tony. God bless them in their ministry in 2023. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for a right stewardship of the world that has created. We pray for the nations of the world and for their leaders that they may minister justice for the maintenance of righteousness and peace. At this time, we pray for help to all our people to dedicate their lives in, and energies in 2023 to making the world a better place for everyone. We pray for those elected to public office, both in our own land and throughout our continent, as we say, God bless Africa, God her children, guide our leaders, and give her peace for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. We beseech thee to bless both those whom we love and those for whom we are bound to pray. Lord, in thy mercy. We beseech thee of thy goodness to send thy healing grace to all who suffer in body or in soul, especially for Rian van Beek, Michael Priam, Corin Williams, Lamise Brissolati Freaks, Valerie Atkinson, Julian Haig, Michael Jordan, and Elise Lowe's. Lord, in thy mercy. Amen. We commend to thy graces keeping all those who have died in faith. We pray for the repose of the soul of John Thompson and for Pope Benedict. We also pray for those whose years minds occur this week. Amy Davis Wirth, Desmond Tutu Bishop, Ernest Smith, Stuart Murray, Gabriel Loire, Gladys Vandenberg, Ernest Johnson, Oliver Raynham, Timothy Teal, Peter Klatzer, Joan Aldred, Arthur Samuel, Adelaide 
Castle, Kevin Langwood, George Swartz, Bishop, Maggie Rowley, Leslie Flotman, Ivan Killian, Dorothy Greenslade, Sophia Root, Baby West, Mr. Quinton, Rosemary Hutchings, Augusta Harding, John Alexander King, Priest, Nicholas Kruger, Jessica Allen, Henry Eman, and Violet Van Nelson. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and a perpetual shine upon them. We pray for those who will die in our city today, especially those who will die alone and unloved. Lord, in thy mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. As we join our prayers with the unending intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all thy saints, we pray that we may be partakers with them of thy heavenly kingdom. Merciful Father, grant these our prayers for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Forgive you all your sins, deliver you from all evil, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Just two notices. One, to thank Dale for uh, being our organist today. And uh, as you can imagine, he was left very strict instructions by Dion, who is now no doubt enjoying his skiing and apres ski in Austria. And also there will be tea served in the hall after mass.
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, because thou didst give Jesus Christ, thine only Son, to be born as its time for us, who by the operation of the Holy Ghost was made very man of the substance of the Virgin Mary, his mother, and that without spot of sin to make us clean from all sin. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory and thanksgiving be to thee, almighty God, our heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who by his one oblation himself once offered made a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world and did institute and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. <coughs> Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we are receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of the thy dear beloved Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, having a remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, do render unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same, and looking for his coming again with power and great glory, we offer here unto thy divine majesty this holy bread of eternal life, and this cup of everlasting salvation, and we humbly beseech thee to pour thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these thy gifts, that all we who are partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son and be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. <clears throat> And we entirely desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, 
we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all the other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy and living sacrifice unto thee. And although we be unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bound and duty and service, not weighing our merits but pardoning our offences through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. As our Savior Jesus Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with us, O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness and in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his suffering. Lord, of large mercy, receive him. I will say the word, and I shall be on.
The Lord be with you. And with our spirit. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious. And his mercy for you forever. Let us pray. Look with favour, most holy Trinity, on this our act of worship and service, and may this sacrifice set forth before thine eyes be acceptable to thy divine majesty, and to veil for us and for all whom we have offered it, who livest and reignest one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks.